Today we're taking a journey off the field and into the exciting and yet sometimes boring world of football business. It's just as important to understand the game behind the game as you dream of scoring goals and winning matches. I call it the business of football. I'm going to briefly share five areas for consideration when you're at the crossroads of amateur and professional football. And in my professional opinion, as an accredited player, manager and agent and business consultant, they're in order of importance. First and foremost, you need to educate yourself. And I don't necessarily mean going to school and getting your homework done. It's more about your business knowledge. Remember that knowledge is power, especially in the business of football. Take the time to educate yourself on financial management, marketing, media training, and even public speaking. These skills will serve you well throughout your career. And there are plenty of resources available, books, online courses, and even seminars specifically for athletes. I always recommend starting with some simple desktop research on your computer. So head across to Google and use keywords like turning professional, what to look out for, or being a professional footballer, what I need to know. You'll be surprised at how deep the rabbit hole is. Next up, and this step in your career is critical, it's finding the right player manager or player agent. Think of them as your personal business coach. So player managers and sports agents have always had a bad rap in the industry because of all the, what I call, snake oil salesmen. And they just want to make a quick buck. Now, I've discussed these pitfalls in a previous video. So search for the video title, The Dark Side of European Football, on this channel and familiarise yourself with the red flags to look out for. So, a good agent will help you navigate contract negotiations, endorsements, and even media relations. But how do you find the right one? You have to look for somebody with a solid reputation who shares your values and understands your career goals. They should be your advocate, always looking out for your best interests. But as I've mentioned before, football can be a dirty game. Beware the fakers what I call the part-time agents. Yes, they're out there, and they can mean the difference between business success and complete failure. So, run background checks on Google, and particularly LinkedIn, and always do your own due diligence. Investing in a little bit of research can make the world of difference. Next is the important topic of contracts. Um, they're not just papers, they're promises between you and your club and or you and your agent. So they outline your responsibilities, your club's obligations, your agent's obligations, and of course, your compensation. So it's crucial to understand every line before you sign. And in today's competitive world of football, contracts can be extremely complicated and confusing. Always have a trusted advisor review any contract presented to you. And remember, a contract is there to protect both you and the club. So don't rush it. Take your time and don't be afraid to ask questions. As you grow as a footballer, mastering financial management becomes as important as mastering a free kick. So earning money as a professional player, it's exciting, but managing it wisely is critical. It's not just about saving, it's about investing in your future. Good financial management helps you secure your earnings and ensures that you're prepared for life after football. So work with financial advisors who understand the unique needs of athletes. Learn about budgeting, saving, investing, and unfortunately, taxes. Make informed decisions that will help you maintain a comfortable lifestyle during and after your playing days. And remember, your career in football might be short-lived, but your financial well-being should last a lifetime. Start building that foundation now and you'll thank yourself later. Uh, the next one is, look, I'm simply going to briefly touch on the topic of sponsorship only because it'll happen once you kickstart your career and you've, and you've put some runs on the board. It takes time, essentially. Nevertheless, sponsorships can be a game changer. They can provide you with the financial support to focus on your training and development. So when approaching potential sponsors, be professional and show, show them what you can offer. It's not just about wearing their logo. It's about representing their brand with integrity on and off the pitch. I'll be posting more on this topic later, highlighting what you need to do, at the very least, to start sponsorship discussions with potential brands. Lastly, and this one merits its own category, let's talk about your, um, your brand and building your brand. 
As a business consultant, brand and marketing strategist, this is close to my heart. Yes, you have a brand. Everybody does. It's the image you project to the world and it's made up of your performance, your behaviour, your character and especially how you interact with fans and followers on social media. I'm sure you're familiar with brands like Cristiano Ronaldo, Michael Jordan, Roger Federer, Phil Mickelson, LeBron James, David Beckham, and even Lionel Messi. In today's competitive football arena, prowess on the field is merely one piece of the puzzle. Today, more than ever, cultivating a uh, powerful brand is the game changer that separates the good from the great. As a seasoned sports and business consultant, I've witnessed firsthand the transformative impact a well-crafted brand can have on the trajectory of a footballer's career. So let's firstly address the undeniable reality of the modern football landscape. It's not just about the game anymore. Footballers are not only judged by their performance on the pitch, but also by their presence off it. A strong personal brand allows you to leverage your achievements and personality to stand out in a crowded field of competitors. Whether you're vying for sponsorships, endorsement deals or media attention, a compelling brand can be the key that unlocks countless opportunities. And moreover, in an age dominated by social media and the digital connectivity, your brand is your currency. Remember that. Platforms like Instagram, Twitter and TikTok offer unprecedented access to fans, sponsors and industry insiders. So, by curating a consistent and authentic brand presence across these channels, you can engage with your audience on a deeper level, fostering loyalty and expanding your reach far beyond the confines of the stadium. But perhaps the most compelling reason to invest in your brand as a footballer is the long-term impact it can have on your career longevity and post-retirement prospects. So by building a loyal fan base and cultivating valuable relationships within the industry, you lay the foundation for a successful transition into, it could be coaching, broadcasting, or whatever path you choose to pursue after hanging up your boots. And we can already see this transition happening before our eyes with Ronaldo's CR7 brand. Now, you may be wondering, how do I go about building my brand? Well, it is a complicated process, but it all starts with authenticity. So your brand should reflect who you are as a person and as a footballer. What values do you stand for? What makes you unique? By answering these and other questions honestly and authentically, you can begin to craft a brand narrative that resonates with fans and sponsors alike. But remember, consistency is key. Your brand should be evident in everything you do, from the way you conduct yourself in interviews to the content you share on social media. Consistency breeds familiarity, and familiarity breeds trust. So by consistently delivering on the promises of your brand, you reinforce your credibility and solidify your place in the hearts and minds of your audience. And don't be afraid to enlist the help of professionals. Building a brand is a complex and nuanced process and having the guidance of experienced consultants and marketers can make all the difference. From crafting your brand message to optimizing your social media strategy, brand experts can provide invaluable insights and resources to help you maximize your brand's potential. And one final piece of advice, remember to always be mindful of what you post on social media. It's part of your brand as well. Build a positive image and the business side of football will become much, much easier. So, remember, football is not just a sport, it's a global business. Understanding this aspect of the game will set you apart and help you build a successful, sustainable career. Keep training hard, but also keep learning about football, about business, and about life. Good luck. I hope that your passion for the game shines both on and off the pitch. And as always, I got you. Let's go.